Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to decrypt and decapsulate the ISA cam packets, uh, which is used for the phase one and phase two negotiation in IPsec. And in my previous video, I showed you how to decrypt and decapsulate the ESP packets using the encryption and the decryption key with respect to the SPI. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to decrypt and decapsulate the ISACM uh, messages in phase one and phase two so that you can do the analysis. Okay, so let's get started. So you can see here, uh, this is the capture taken on the 40 gate firewall. Well, this is the main mode negotiation. As you can see, there are six packet exchange followed by the quick mode with three packet exchange. So in normal scenario, after the four packet exchange, you will have the key generation and the fifth packet and the sixth packet and the subsequent phase two packets will be encrypted. So let me show you the debug information here. So this is the encryption key and this is the encryption key and this is the key associated with the SPI value. Well, this is used for the ESP packet. Basically ESP encrypts the traffic using this key and ESP decrypts the packet using this key. Well, this was all about the ESP packet. Well, we are today trying to decapsulate and decrypt the ISACM uh, packet, the fifth packet, sixth packet in phase one and the subsequent uh, packets in phase two. So uh, I have taken the debug of the same here. Uh, let me go to the stage where there is the key generation. Okay, so this is the initiation point of IPsec main mode. You can see here this this end 108 is sending the negotiation to 200, and then you are receiving the response, and this is the content of the packet. Okay, and then you are sending the third packet, this one, and then you're receiving the response. Well, after this you will generate the keys. Okay, you can see here, ISA cam, SA. Um, you can match this with the capture as well. You can see here, the value is matching. So the key here on my screen is the SKEYIDE. So what basically means is, so after four packet exchange, you will make use of DH in my case to generate a symmetric key out of the values that you have shared. So the first key that will be generated on each end would be SKEY ID. And using this key, you will generate SKEYID D, and then you will generate SKEYID E, A, and then you will generate E. So this key is for the derivation of the subsequent key in phase two which you see it here. This is the key, which is derived from this key. Authentication key is this key. And encryption key. So the encryption key is the one that is used here in our scenario for the encryption of phase one fifth packet, sixth packet, and the subsequent phase two for second, third packet. So where's the key? Let me 
quickly check the key. So here's the key. Okay. And this is the 40 gate firewall. So click on the packet. Click on preference protocol. Icon decrypt. You can see here the initiator cookie. I took it from the debug. Okay. Both the key. Both the N will use a common key because you have used DH and you came to a common symmetric SKI D. Okay. And using that, you will generate all the three keys. So the key that we are looking at is this, which is used for the encryption of the fifth, sixth packet and first, second, third packet in phase two. So this is the key. Okay. So what you can do is you can click on plus, you can put the value, the initiator cookie or the responder cookie, and you can paste the key. So what it is going to do is it is going to decrypt the payload. As you can see here in my screen that this is encrypted data, but I am able to decapsulate and decrypt it. So what I see here is identification payload and you can see the value, the hash payload, you can see the value of the hash and the notification payload. So similarly on the sixth packet, you can see here, everything is decrypted and the phase one first packet, you can see here, the payload, hash payload, the hash data, SA payload, nonce payload, key exchange payload, because in my case I have used PFS. And the identification payload, which will tell you the proxy ID configured or the traffic selector configured on each end. So that's all in this video, guys. Uh, if you have any question, please leave them in the comment section so that I can answer them. And please do subscribe to my channel and stay safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.